my channel, The Lifestyle with Laura. Come and join me today and I'll show you how I made this beautiful bridal centerpiece. Come on in and let's get started. All items that I'm using will be in the description box below. I'll start with this vase and this white lace fabric that I've had for a while. So what I want to do is go ahead and take my fabric. I'm going to double it over. Just like this. And take my little clip and pin this up. And place the fabric over the vase. Just like this. And I'll take this one just to help me hold this in place. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and get this bottom part even. And then I'll cut out this excess fabric. And then I'll hot glue it down. My lace is all glued down to the vase. This is the front and this is the back. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my tool and figure out how long I want the mermaid part to be. So you can just figure where you're going to start it. I'll say right here, figure how long you want it to be and then double it. Just double it and start cutting off pieces. Now, I also have this 1-8 ribbon that I'm going to use. Now, I'm out of white, so I'm going to use the silver that I already have. And I'll show you how to make the mermaid part. Let me just use this to hold it down. And I have a few pieces already cut. Now, I think I cut mine about 11 inches, but it really depends on your vase uh, and how far you want it to come down. So I'm going to just take this piece, scrunch it together like this, and take this, and I hope you can see it, with my ribbon, and place it over my ribbon, go to the back side, catch the two pieces, and pull it through the loop, just like this. And this is what it will look like. You'll have a piece like this. So let me go ahead and I'll do another one. And you'll just continue making these, uh, just depending on how wide your vase is. So I would um, probably make a few at a time. So take your ribbon, your loop, go behind the ribbon, catch the two pieces, pull it through the loop, and tighten it. And just try to keep it even, just like that and you can just pull them together. You'll continue doing this and pulling them together each time. And I'll go ahead and make some of these and I'll come back and show you what's next. Now I have the bottom part of the bride's dress made. So I made two sections and it just depends on how thick you want yours to be. And I left the string a little long just in case I wanted to actually tie it on. But it would go around like this. And if I wanted to tie it, I could. But actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and hot glue it on here. So let me just start at the back and start putting some hot glue on. 
and I'll do little sections at a time. And just figure out how low you want it to be because I'll put that second piece right above this one. So you meet back up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this string. I'm not going to tie it. And you see, you really don't even see the silver because the white is actually cut, covering it up. And then my second one, I'll just put right over the top. And then in the end, in the end you'll just pull this down and shape it. And again, you can use as many as you want, just depending on how thick you want it to be. Now, before I put this piece on, I'm going to use some of this uh, Dollar Tree bling, and I think I'll go ahead and glue it on here, actually, before I glue it to my face. I think it would be a little bit easier to do. And I'm going to use, let's see, I think I'm going to use about three rolls. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut my bling and I'll use my heavy candle to kind of straighten this out, help me straighten it out. And I'll hot glue my bling to my tool and then hot glue it right above the previous section. And I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Now I have my diamond wrap added to my vase. Look how pretty it is. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little purple ribbon. And this is my back part. I just use this to remind myself this is the back. And I'm going to go ahead and measure out some purple ribbon and hot glue it down. Now I want the cut where they meet up to be in the front because I'm going to also add a little bling to it. And I have a little bling bling that I want to add to it. So I'll just hot glue that down. Just a little bit. Just enough to get it to stick and hold. And this will cover the part where the seam comes together. And that's what it's looking like. And 
And let me go ahead and trim this down, y'all. And I think in the end, I may add some pearl up here. So I want it to be trimmed nice and neat. Now you could add pearls or you could add a little diamond wrap, whatever you choose. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add this bouquet of flowers to it. So I want to go ahead and just take this off and I'm going to add some ribbon on here. And before I finish taking it off, let me go ahead and I'm gonna add some white ribbon. Put this aside. And before I take it all the way home, I'm going to just add a little hot glue and start wrapping my ribbon around. And I'm adding the white so that when I put it in the base, you won't be able to see the green part. And that covered it up nicely. And I'm also going to add a little bling on here. I had three rows, so let me take this. Two and let's see how, how many I want to have on here. Now there's five rows on this Dollar Tree wrap. So I think I'm just going to use just the five rows. I was going to take it down a little bit lower, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it with one wrap. Go ahead and add some hot glue. little bling to it. Now here's my bridal dress. 
this will go in like this. what it's looking like. Now I have some little hearts, little diamond hearts. Add some more bling. I'm going to dress up the bouquet just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add these little hearts onto the large purple rose. here and I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue and add it to the center so let me turn this around for a little bit these are actually little buttons you can see that it's actually a little button so all I need is just a little Dab of hot glue. Be very, very careful with it. And I'm going to add it to the center of the rose. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a moment. Just hold it there for a little bit. Let that hot glue set. And I'll add it also to the other purple rose. in the center and if you can see the purple rose has a little heart in it now let's bling it up just a little bit more And I'll just hot glue them somewhere off in here with the roses. side and add one. Let me see. Now I may decide to add a little more bling up here or I may just leave it with just this. I'll see in the end. I think I add a little bling to this bottom portion of the dress. Let's see. I have these little diamond pieces and they're all in different sizes. So what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and take my little tool. I'll find my little tool. I'll go ahead and add some of these pieces, diamond pieces, just to the bottom. Here's my tool here. 
and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. And this is my bridal centerpiece. I added a little bling on the bottom of the dress. I added these white little pearls to make it look like baby breath. And I also went ahead and added another little diamond piece just to make it bling a little bit more. And here's what the bouquet looks like. You see the little hearts? And the other bling that I added. And this is the back of the dress. I think this makes a very beautiful bridal centerpiece. Thank you for watching my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.